The Combustion Integrated Rack, or SIR, in the Destiny Laboratory makes it possible to perform a wide variety of experiments that teach us how fire behaves in microgravity. In the center of the SIR is a large round chamber called the Multi-User Droplet Combustion Apparatus. This 100-liter chamber has eight windows and five cameras that allow scientists to observe patterns made when burning fuels under different conditions. The five cameras are capable of photographing high-resolution, high-frame-rate images in ultraviolet low light and in multiple spectrums that are specific to combustion events. Several additional hardware components can be added to the SIR to customize its chamber for specific experiments. FLEX is the flame extinguishment experiment that utilizes the SIR to conduct various burn tests on gas and liquid fuel. It also tests the effectiveness of different methods for extinguishing the flames from the test. ISS provides a sustained microgravity environment, which allows scientists to observe the geometric, chemical, and thermodynamic properties of both the flame and the fuel droplet inside the burn chamber. Under these conditions, we can advance our fundamental understanding of how fuels burn in microgravity, as well as on Earth. This research will be used to better address fire hazards associated with liquid combustibles. The wealth of information obtained from the test in FLEX will also help scientists on Earth solve problems with pollution that is generated by combustion. The many different experiments in the combustion integrated rack will help engineers increase the efficiency of gasoline and diesel engines here on Earth and will also help us understand fire prevention and suppression. The human research facility racks in the Columbus Laboratory allow ISS crew members to study one of Earth's most advanced organisms, the human body. Astronauts conduct medical exams, track changes in health and behavior, and research countermeasures to reduce the harmful effects spaceflight has on humans. Our bodies are well suited to work under the force of Earth's gravity, but long duration spaceflight results in muscle atrophy bone deterioration, cardiovascular deconditioning, and a weakened immune system. In an effort to understand these changes and how they affect astronaut health, the HRF is used to conduct several types of physiology experiments. For example, the CARD and Integrated Cardiovascular Experiments are two investigations designed to better understand how the heart functions in microgravity. Without the force of gravity for the heart to pump against, the heart muscle weakens in space. Scientists want to understand what this might mean for astronauts on orbit as they increase their time spent in space, and also how this will affect their return to Earth's gravity. The Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device, called SLAM-D, is an advanced scale that measures body mass without the pull of gravity. It does this by applying Newton's second law of motion, which states that mass equals force divided by acceleration. An astronaut sits on a pull arm assembly that moves with a constant force, while his or her acceleration is recorded with a precise optical instrument that measures position over time. By tracking changes in astronauts' body mass over time, scientists can better understand their nutritional status while on orbit. The Nutrition Status Assessment focuses on the effects diet has on bone health, chemical and hormone changes, and oxidative damage in space. Urine and blood samples are collected before, during, and after spaceflight for biochemical analysis to determine the effectiveness of both nutrition and pharmaceuticals that are being tested for maintaining astronaut health on the space station. Nutrition research is necessary for establishing proper food and vitamin diets for long-duration space missions as we explore destinations beyond low Earth orbit. Although the intended goal of the HRS research is to understand how the human body reacts to long-duration spaceflight, the added benefit from much of this research is that it helps us to better understand heart disease, muscle degeneration and osteoporosis, 
ailments suffered by millions of people on Earth today. The Microgravity Science Glove Box, located in the Destiny Laboratory, provides nine cubic feet of enclosed workspace for conducting a wide variety of experiments that require liquids, combustion, or hazardous materials. ISS crew members can safely use its rugged gloves to work in a sealed environment without the risk of releasing any small parts, particles, fluids, or gases into the rest of the laboratory. The structure and liftoff in combustion experiment, or SLICE, utilizes the MSG to study and work with fire in microgravity. SLICE allows astronauts to photograph and measure the shape and temperature of flames produced by various fuels and sizes of burner nozzles. These assorted flame shapes and sizes are then modeled to help scientists develop more efficient engines and furnaces here on Earth. The MSG is also used to conduct the BASS experiment, which stands for burning and suppression of solids. Instead of measuring flames from burner nozzles, the BASS experiment observes and models the geometry of flames on solid spheres and flat surfaces. These controlled fires are then extinguished in a variety of ways to look for the best strategy to use for suppressing flames in microgravity. Improved fire detection and suppression systems for use on Earth and the ISS can then be designed from this information. The MSG is also used to accommodate tests for heating liquids in the boiling experiment facility, a small container that includes two types of heating arrays, high-speed video cameras, and a variety of tools for measurement. Experiments in the BXF try to determine critical heat flux the point at which a heat source becomes so hot that the liquid can't actually touch it. Interestingly, the information from the study of critical heat flux is used to design enhanced cooling systems. The BXF's heating arrays are also used to study the shape and buoyancy of bubbles. The high-speed cameras in the BXF capture the growth, detachment, and motion of two types of vapor bubbles, small individual bubbles, and larger bubbles that have merged together. Without the microgravity science glove box aboard the ISS, there wouldn't be a safe way to work with dangerous materials and conditions to carry out these compelling experiments. The most common rack design used on board the ISS is a multi-purpose payload rack called EXPRESS, which stands for Expedite the Processing of Experiments to Space Station. There are eight modular EXPRESS racks spread throughout the station's three laboratories. Each rack provides important resources, such as power, cooling, water, and data connections to support up to 10 individual experiments. The versatility of the express racks makes them ideal for conducting physical, chemical, and biological experiments in microgravity. The binary colloidal alloy test, or BCAT, researches how liquids and gases separate, or alternately, come together. Astronauts also study the patterns that emerge when solids are suspended in liquids. What scientists learn from BCAT observations may be used to create better stabilizers that extend the shelf life of food, products, and medicines here on Earth. Biological science is also researched in the express racks. The Advanced Biological Research System has two growth chambers, each with independent controls for temperature, light, and atmospheric conditions. The chambers are used to grow various organisms, like plants, small insects, and microorganisms. The Commercial Generic Bioprocessing Apparatus, or CGBA, enables automated processing for the microscopic study of protein crystal growth, bacteria, and cell cultures. The CGBA also houses insect habitats and plant development modules. These two examples of biological research systems will help scientists gain a better understanding of how organisms develop and respond in various conditions.
Many of the experiments that take place on the International Space Station require either the use of or actually produce biological samples. In order to preserve these samples for their use in various tests or their eventual return to Earth, scientists at the European Space Agency developed a specialized freezer rack called MELFI, or the minus 80 degree laboratory freezer for ISS. Unlike most of the other research racks aboard the ISS, the MELFI racks are not actually used to conduct specific experiments. They instead store assorted samples at 39 and minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Each MELFI rack is made up of four independently controlled chambers called dewars that are cooled by nitrogen gas. Each dewar contains four trays that can hold up to 175 liters or 85 kilograms of plants, cell cultures, or human tissue and fluid samples. The plant specimens from the Advanced Biological Research System Growth Module are stored in one of the station's three MELFI racks. Because one of the primary areas of study on the ISS is human physiology, MELFI stores human samples like blood, saliva, hair, and urine. Properly preserved blood and urine are necessary for accurately conducting nutritional studies and cardiovascular system experiments. Hair samples used in the study of microgravity's effect on metabolism and gene expression require the MELFI's continuously monitored low temperature for accurate results. Thanks to the MELFI racks in the Kibo and Destiny laboratories, astronauts aboard the ISS can conduct and preserve the results of these valuable experiments.